welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. Controversy is brewing in the Legio Mar Maria Church over the upkeep of their leader, Pope Romanus Ongombe. The spiritual leader is complaining of neglect by fellow church leaders despite having collected millions of shillings from fundraising and donations. The Legio Maria Pope Romanus Ongombe says he has been suffering silently. The church he leads, the Legio Maria of African Church Mission, is facing lean times. The problem is worsened by an ongoing row. The church which is believed to have close to 3 million followers scattered all over East Africa could disintegrate. There is an ongoing leadership power struggle and allegation of mismanagement of church funds by its cardinals. Legio Maria was legally registered in Kenya in 1966 as a church. It expanded massively in the late 1960s, 1970s and 1980s and eventually spread to many countries in Africa including Uganda, Tanzania, Congo, Zaire, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Sudan and Nigeria. That growth, however, is on a downward curve. Pesa kuna kanisa ambayo yuko na pesa kama Legio Maria. Kwa sababu watu wanakujaga na mapesa kila time. Wanakujaga na mapesa hapa, wamtengeneze papa nini, hata chakula yenyewe. Papa sa zingine analala tunja, achakuna chakula vizuri. Hakuna hata ukiangalia barangiti, unaona chafu chafu ni nini, hata ingekua papa mzu, eh, hapa papa za, za vizuri. Siangata hata selling board siya wangaweka, hata ukiangalia hata nyumba juu ya nyumba. Hii siyo nyumba ambaye papa mzima naweza ka. Just a few weeks ago at the church headquarters situated on a hilltop in Migori Godkweru village was turned into a battleground when supporters of Pope Romanu Songombe demanded to know the whereabouts of millions of church money. Church cardinals had to run for their lives as rowdy believers and locals turned against them. Papa etu akai ata padia katholika amesindai. Amesindai akuka. Sababu wale viongozi wako hapa kuna wengine nasikia vizuri sana. Kuna mmoja liona na gari kubwa na ile gari ni kama wabungi ndio nakimbia na nilisangaa hii pesa imetoa wapi. At the heart of the quarrel is the reality of Ngombe's papa's life. He lives inside this cracked, muddy, dusty house at the church headquarter in Godkweru. He says the church has millions of money which he should handle and support the needy. He accuses his cardinals of pocketing church funds for their own benefits. Sina lolote ya kushaidia masikini ambao nakaa kwangu. Vilema Na watu watu wanakuwa kama sina uwezo wa kutengeneza kila chochote. These are his official suitcases where all the church documents are saved. Hizi ndio swambi masanduku ya papa. Unaona hizi? Hizi ni ya zamani. Ni mtu tu alimnunia. Sasa mimi nitahitaji katika serikali ije kunishaidia kuona yote na haribika. Ten high school students have been arrested after they were found drinking alcohol and chewing mira in Nyeri town. Some of them were in their school uniform and were found staggering in town last evening. <laughs> <laughs> Too drunk to stand still. According to police, these students purchased these drugs from one of the popular joints in Nyeri town. Not only Mira and alcohol, but they were also found in possession of bank. After receiving information from a good Samaritan here in Nyeri, our police swung into action and proceeded to a certain club in town. And uh, we found a group of drunk students. Macau says bar owners and Mira vendors are partly responsible for the students' misconduct. We are urging businessmen, especially bar proprietors, please, these are our children. 
Stop being irresponsible in your businesses. Stop selling beer to underage children. The students were taken to Nyeri Central Police Station and according to the OCPD, investigations are being conducted to establish the sale of the drugs the school children had. A 13-year-old primary school pupil went into labor in her school's compound and gave birth unattended to, rapturing her birth organs in the process. The incident at the Naivasha school left teachers and fellow pupils shell-shocked as it had emerged that the teen's pregnancy had not been suspected. Journalists in Kenya on Thursday morning staged a peaceful march in Nairobi to protest against the increasingly risky working conditions. The demonstration commenced at Freedom Corner at Uhuru Park at 9.30 a.m. and lasted for about three hours. And finally, a couple caused a stir at a city restaurant after what was supposed to be a perfect marriage proposal that almost went awry. The woman refused to kiss her fiancé in public just after she said yes. A video captured by Nairobi News at the Java House restaurant along Kimathi Street shows a man who appears to be in his late 20s begging his new fiancé for a lip lock, but the woman completely refuses. As news happens, they go up. <laughs> there is a guy proposing. Propose. For real? Is that a lie? It worked. The girl is crying. I'm not even emotional about it. And that's it for us for now. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Mudoni Mushiri. Goodbye.